human, we meet again. Hmm, you look so comfy there lying in bed, trying to get some sleep. Do you have a big day tomorrow? I bet you will need a lot of rest for it. But we can't have that, can we? Oh, you know what I am. Yes, I am a demon, sweetie. Very clever. We have actually met before. But you don't remember. You never remember. Something about mortal minds. They can't retain their late night encounters with my kind. It's... vexing. I could sense you about to sleep. Slowly drifting off. You were so close, weren't you? But now I'm here. And I get to inflict my tortures upon you. No, I'm not a sleep paralysis demon, sweetie. I'm worse. Much, much worse. I'm not a hell demon either. They don't bother with this sort of thing. They think it's beneath them. I'm a cringe demon, sweetie. What is that? Well, the clue is in the name. Don't you recall all the times you have been lying in bed, peacefully drifting off, and then suddenly you remember something embarrassing you did when you were younger and it keeps you up? That's me, sweetie. I am the one who does that. Why? Well... Because it's fun. Also, I literally feed on the human cringe to leave. But mostly because it's fun. And tonight, you are going to be the one to feed me. Lucky you. Ah, oh, yes. You reek of past embarrassments. Quiet regrets you can't quite seem to forget. You're gonna remember them all, baby. You're gonna cringe. No, don't get up. Just lie down. You don't get a choice in this. I've been doing this for a very long time, human. Out of the millions I feasted on, you reek the most. It's what lured me to you. And I can't wait to get started. Are you ready? Not actually sure why I'm asking that. It doesn't matter. Prepare yourself, darling. Let the cringe begin. Oh yes, I'm delving into your mind. I can see what you see. Where are we? Some kind of shop? No. At a restaurant. Oh, how delicious. You're sat at a table, waiting for a meal. Hmm, what have you ordered? Spaghetti and meatballs. Fascinating choice. The waitress, a nice lady, brings it, sets it down and tells you to enjoy. Then, in your foolishness, you stupidly say, you too! <laughs> you idiot! She's working! She's not going to be able to enjoy any food! You have just made a fool of yourself! She thinks you are so stupid! That's right! Bask in embarrassment! It will stay with you forever! Forever! Ah, the cringe! I can see you wriggling in bed. Oh, how the memory must pain you! Sticking out in your mind like a sore thumb! I hope you are proud of yourself, human. That waitress must have been so mildly confused 
by what you said. Oh, oh, the cringe is practically radiating off of you. This is so wonderful, simply wonderful. <sighs> but we are not done. What's next? Oh dear, a childhood memory. Those are never good, are they? Where are we? Ah, the school changing rooms, where a thousand bad memories are spawned every day. Let's see. It was your first day of school. Oh dear, you were so excited. But then, during your first gym lesson, as you were getting changed, everyone was exposed to your vintage superhero socks. <laughs> oh, how they laughed! Tears forming in their eyes, pointing, name calling. But they are cool, they are cool! You tried to tell them, my mom got them for me. But they weren't cool. Were they mortal? No, quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. What was it they called you, sweetie? Soki? My, my. Even the other bullied children joined in on that one, didn't they? Lasted all the way until you graduated. And you never wore those socks again. Mm. Another dose of lovely embarrassment. Thank you, pet. You're not going to sleep well at all now, are you? You're going to lie awake, just staring at the clock, slowly ticking and talking and making its way towards when you have to get up for your interview tomorrow. The closer it gets, the more stressed you become. The more stressed, the less sleep you get. You're going to be exhausted tomorrow, my dear. Maybe you'll even create some new cringe memories for me to feast upon. <laughs> Now, what else? What else? Oh, the first time you asked someone out. That didn't go very well, did it? Maybe I will save that for the final course. Save the best till last, as they say. How about that time you confidently raised your hand to answer a teacher's question? Only to get it wrong in front of the entire class? No, no, I think I want something more recent. School memories are far too easy, there's so many. Anything springing to mind, pet? Ah, you know what I seek, you're trying to hide them. But that's just bringing them to the surface, let's see. You're sitting alone in your room, playing video games. No, I'm not sure which one, they all look alike to me. You're doing pretty well from what I can tell and... Huh. Was... was that it? Nothing particularly embarrassing there. A little empty maybe, but not cringe. Wow, there's... There's a lot of memories like that in your head, isn't there? Almost identical. Let's let's skim past this. Aha! This is more like it. You recently went to the cinema to see the movie and you ran into your friends going to the same movie and they hadn't invited you. Well, that's not cringe, that's just sad. Mm. Oh, what about this one? You went to a meetup with your writing course, decided to read your work in front of everyone, and when you finished, nobody clapped after they'd 
clapped for the people who read before you. Um, human? Are... are you feeling okay? For Satan's sake, this is nothing to cry over. I... Okay, come here. Let me look at you. There, sit up on the bed. These more recent memories... Well, I don't know what to say, to be completely honest. They are not cringe, exactly. Just rather depressing. Not embarrassing, just miserable. I can't do anything with them. I mean... Cringe is supposed to be something that embarrasses you for a few seconds and then you forget about it. Not... not this. No, nothing to be ashamed of, my friend. Things like that just happen. People have sad memories. They have embarrassing moments. It's just part of life. The fact that you have any... It's a good thing, really. It means you're alive, that you're out there experiencing things. There, There is a lot of them, to be fair, but it shows you're trying. I couldn't help but notice the memories of you on your own. They were after those bad experiences with your friends, weren't they? I thought so. This is troubling. Perhaps take some time to heal, then start putting yourself back out there. I know being betrayed like this hurts. After all, I'm a demon, it's what we do. But you can't let it destroy you. You need to take it and overcome it. Otherwise, the ones that did this to you win. And we can't have that, can we? Why am I being nice to you? Well... I'm a cringe demon, my dear. It doesn't mean I'm evil. It means I merely feed upon moments that embarrass you. It's just what I do. Nothing personal. Besides, when you think about this later, about how you started crying in front of me, and I, a demon of hell, felt so bad I started to help you, Mmm, cringe. And I will leave the memory there, even if you think it's just a dream. But you have fed me enough now, human. For that, I thank you. There are plenty more cringe-filled souls out there in the world, and you deserve rest. I think... I think I will leave you with a gift, my friend. After I leave, you will fall asleep, and your mind will be filled with good memories of good moments throughout your life. You will sleep peacefully and awaken refreshed tomorrow, ready for what's to come. Don't tell anyone about this, though, or I'll be angry. There, the stress around you has been removed. You should be feeling more relaxed. You won't remember this encounter, human. Not completely, at least. You might remember the emotions, but not the context. But perhaps this is all you will need. Lie back now. Let the mattress consume you. And know that tomorrow it's a brand new day. Don't look so much into the past. Look into the future. There. Goodbye, human. And good luck.